Welcome everybody. This is Logan with Bearded Bourbon and today is day number six uh, for the Indiana Bourbon Club Bourbon Advent and after yesterday's disaster I'm really not looking forward to uh, today's pour because it's not going to be it's probably not going to go well um, but as always uh, if, if you're looking for some some fun interaction interactive things uh, to do um, so like custom Glen Karens, custom patches t-shirts etc like check us out on patreon uh, and see what we're doing over there we'll see what I'm doing over there um, already smells good um, like and subscribe uh, follow me at bearded bourbon with the little underscore over on Instagram uh, but let's just, let's get into or number six uh this over here is my highlights uh my top uh or my favorite pours of the advent uh and so yeah still i would still say um bookers still going strong uh at number one there so uh let's get into today's pour Whoa, okay. So, I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of like uh, scared to guess things. Um, but I get, <coughs> I get a very, it's very um, kind of a woody, woody taste. Um, Maybe there's a finish there. Um, it kind of smells f like there's uh, kind of like something tropical. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, I don't know, but it smells like the more the more that I'm just kind of letting it sit, the more I'm kind of getting some like tropical notes um and i don't know why man maybe like a coconut kind of taste uh, or smell there too so let's go right in uh to the palate yeah this is one i'm gonna maybe have to sit with for a little bit um so I'm not getting, I'm not getting much off of that first pour. I would say, um, if I'm just gonna give like a right off the bat kind of guess as far as proof, I'm probably gonna say, mm, I'll say 93, because uh, I'm, I'm between 90 and 95, um, and so uh, that, that's just a, an early guess. So I'll, I'll go ahead and um, have my my way too soon uh, guess be 93 proof. Um, hmm. I, you know what? It's, it smells good. I like it. Uh, I, I still get some of those tropical notes. It's... Um, coconutty it does seem like there's a um, a finish so I'm gonna say I wouldn't even know what the finish would be though um, but it just it just has a, a pretty distinct kind of flavor profile that just seems kind of off like not typical like I I know I never I've, I've heard of the Jefferson's tropics um, but I've never never tried it um, I don't think I've even tried Jefferson's before um, so if there's a good one that I, that I should try out there like seriously I'm, I'm getting like everything tropical in this and I've never tried I've never tasted uh, a Jefferson's um, I kind of get I kind of get that really low proof um, 
it's it it seems like super light. Um, it's it's a good pour. So I'm still gonna keep my guess at 93 proof because this just does seem. Uh, it has a pretty good color on it too. I don't know if you can if you can see that, uh, but it's a pretty good color. Yeah, it, I, honestly, it it seems like there's like um, like suntan lotion, and, but in a good way. <laughs> Sun suntan lotion in this. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's 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 go back into pour taste. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I so I'm just gonna say I'm gonna say 93 proof. So man, what is that? I'm like really nervous to say anything because I definitely showed. I called the Blood Oath Pack Nine. A weeder. Um, so it kind of shows that I don't know, really know much. Or it's the sickness that's just kind of getting to me. Uh, I'm trying to think of the different bourbons that I currently have. And like really the only thing like with this kind of profile that's really light and kind of leaves me constantly wanting more is a little small bottle of Woodford that, uh, you know, it's not bad, but, you know, is this that? I've never tried Jefferson's. It could be countless amount of bottles. Um, typical Woodford uh, would be much lower than um, the $50 bottle price point for these pours, um, unless it's one of like their um, either higher proof, which just doesn't just doesn't drink at higher proof. But this is it does. So when I say Woodford, that nose really does remind me of like just a really low proof Woodford with a finish. So I know I, I already know I'm gonna get the bottle wrong. So I'm still keeping it at 93 proof. I'm gonna say, oh man, the, again, the, like the lower this pour goes, I get I get a lot of like tropical fruity notes, like a. Um, Honestly, like a like I'm at the beach and I, I just put on lathered on a bunch of uh, suntan lotion, like uh, some vanilla, a lot of vanilla in that last, that last, um, that last note. Seems like, I mean, this is definitely something I've never had, um, and I, and um, but. Uh, but I'm, I am seeing that um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like the more that I'm tasting it, it, it does remind me of Woodford. But, but that's only because I've had that. Um, and that's one low proof. I'm trying to think of other bottles that I have. Um, that's the other, like that's the only low proof um, bottle that, that has that kind of, uh, I mean, that it's a, not necessarily young um, kind of smell, but it's just, it's very light. Um, it's not rich, it's not dark, but it, there's a difference in it. So, so I'll say this, 93 proof, Woodford, a reserve, um, bourbon, I'm just gonna say I'm, I've not guessed one finished bourbon. I should have guessed it yesterday, but um, I'm, I'll guess it's finished. Um, as far as a bottle, okay. So I just have I, I just did a Google search because uh, I couldn't remember the name of this particular bottle, but 
I'll, I'll just I'm just gonna guess like and this and if this is actually it this is a crazy bottle to include in this <laughs> in this advent but uh, the the master's collection uh, Sonoma triple finish so that's gonna be my guess for the bottle and so uh, it's all right so let's see let's see I have the, the key here and let's see what it is. Okay, so I am not currently seeing everything, but I do see that it is a Woodford. Uh oh, it's taking the taking the um, the ink off with it. Okay, wow. So this is a Woodford Reserve. Pit stop liquor store pick. So this is, I don't know what I was getting on that finish, um, but this is ninety point four proof. So point point four proof, point four distillery, um, point four bourbon. Wrong on the finish, which go figure, um, and wrong on the bottle. So uh, a three for five day, not terrible. Um, I'll, I will take that over yesterday for sure. Uh, but as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. These are really fun to do. These are these have been amazing pours. Uh, so thank you to everybody. Um, thank you, Erica, Sean, Dwight, everybody in the IBC uh, for contributing to this. This is really this has been really fun and. We have so many more days to go, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so uh, link in the descriptions below as far as Patreon and, and Bearded Bourbon Store uh, and Wholesale uh, Bourbon Finds merch if you're interested in that. Um, so until then, we'll see you next time.